Are you concerned that your tartar is holding your teeth in place so you're hesitant to get them cleaned at the dentist because you're worried your teeth will loosen and fall out? Let's talk. Hi, my name is Whitney and I'm a dental hygienist here to talk about tartar holding your teeth in place. And before we get started, make sure to get my free oral care guide. Click the link in the description below or in the pinned comment to join thousands of people who have already discovered all of the essential components for an effective oral hygiene routine. This guide is an action plan for preventing and maintaining a happier and healthier smile. I made it just for you, for it can also help you stay on routine and never have to worry about tartar on your teeth. And having said that, for today's video, let's talk about tartar. First things first, when tartar is holding your teeth in place, this is oftentimes something we call a calculus bridge. In dental terms, calculus is also known as tartar. Tartar is mineralized, hardened plaque that sticks to the surfaces of the teeth. A calculus bridge is specifically when the tartar is stuck across multiple teeth. Oftentimes on the lower front teeth is where you can see it. A calculus bridge can make it difficult to distinguish between each tooth since it covers the teeth starting at the gums all the way up to the biting surfaces on the teeth. There are different levels of a calculus bridge. Some are more severe than others, but they all tend to start as plaque that is not properly removed with daily brushing and flossing at home and or avoidance of professional dental cleanings. So we tend to see these on patients who have not been to the dentist in years and years and years. And the lower front teeth, especially on the tongue side, is a common area for plaque to build up for everyone due to various reasons, such as it's a difficult area to reach with a toothbrush. Nearby salivary glands can actually increase the risk of buildup and plaque tends to build up more on the front teeth on those who often breathe through their mouth as opposed to breathing through their nose. No matter what the cause of the plaque buildup, if the plaque is not properly removed at home by proper brushing and proper flossing, it will harden into calculus, AKA tartar. And once that calculus is formed, it can no longer be properly or safely removed at home. It needs to to be removed by a dentist or a dental hygienist. Now, this is where people tend to get nervous. I've had some patients say to me, "Never mind, I don't want a cleaning anymore. I'm worried my teeth might fall out because the tartar is holding them in. Or I'm scared of what it will do to my teeth and gums. But here's the thing, tartar is bad bacteria. It is dental disease and not removing it is bad for your teeth and gums. Leaving it there is causing more bone loss and more gum disease. Since tartar and bone loss are both associated with gum disease Disease, periodontal disease. And also your dentist and your dental hygienist will tell you ahead of time what will happen after your cleaning. They will tell you what to expect regarding your individual mouth. So they aren't going to just clean your teeth and afterwards be like, oops, a few of them fell out during the process. That is not going to happen. They will have already taken x-rays and done a proper gum assessment ahead of time to be able to tell you what to expect. And more often than not, to properly clean the calculus bridge at your dental cleaning, if there is gum disease and or bone loss associated associated with it, a deep cleaning, also called scaling and root planing, will be necessary for proper removal. If the calculus bridge is only above the gum line, then sometimes a regular cleaning will be indicated. But more often than not, a more involved cleaning will be needed. And with this more involved cleaning, they won't just do it without talking to you about it first. It's just like doing a root canal without telling you they are going to do it. They always tell you because you will have to sign treatment forms, payment forms, you know the drill. You'll discuss the procedure beforehand and they will go over everything there is to expect. And I will link that video of mine below if you want to learn even more. But yes, in rare cases, sometimes they will tell you that your teeth might feel a little loose after. But oftentimes, once the gums heal up, they will no longer feel loose and you'll be fine. No lost teeth. They will tell you that. However, other times, if your calculus bridge is very severe and there is severe bone loss, maybe there is a chance that your teeth are so loose under there that it's possible for one or a couple teeth to potentially fall out after the cleaning. This is very rare, may I say. I've cleaned loose teeth before that I had to literally hold the tooth in place while I was cleaning it because it was so loose and it still did not fall out. It takes a lot for a tooth to come out. But having said that, it's not impossible for a tooth to come out. But again, I can't stress enough how if this is something they are concerned about, they will absolutely tell you beforehand. And they will also discuss tooth replacement options with you prior and have a treatment plan ready in the case that that happens. Also, most of the time, if you're 
bone loss is that severe that they are concerned about loose teeth, your general dentist would probably refer you to a gum specialist, a periodontist for the cleaning. And then same thing, you would discuss your treatment options prior to the deep cleaning with the periodontist now. I just wanna make it clear that it will not be a surprise. They will tell you about it and they will tell you how to handle it, what your options are, etc. So if you have been putting off getting your teeth cleaned because you are worried about them falling out, don't put it off any longer. Schedule that appointment at your dental office to find out. They will tell you during your exam. And if they say, you'll be fine, there's no chance of loose teeth under your calculus bridge, then easy, do the cleaning and you are good. But if they do tell you that there is a slight chance the teeth will be loose and or a severe chance that they will be loose and possibly even fall out after the cleaning, again, this is very rare, still go to the dentist and find out what your options are. If you are not ready to do the cleaning yet, at least get an exam and x-rays so you can know your options for when you're ready to schedule that actual deep cleaning procedure. Don't put off scheduling the procedure for too long because although tartar might be what is holding your teeth in place, if you remember anything from this video, please remember that tartar is bad. It is dental disease. It is made up of unhealthy bacteria that is associated with bone loss, meaning the longer the tartar sits on your teeth, the more bone loss you will get and the more likely your teeth will be loose over time because that tartar bacteria is what's literally eating away at the bone, causing your teeth to get loose. The tartar may be holding the teeth in right now, but it's also what caused the teeth to be loose in the first place. So although lots of people think it's better for the tartar to just stay to hold the teeth in, it's actually the opposite. Tartar is making things worse until one day your teeth will fall out on their own. If you never get that tartar cleaned off at the dentist, that calculus bridge can't hold the teeth in place forever. So once the tartar eats away all of the bone, all of your bone is lost. Now all of those teeth are coming out on their own at home without even getting a cleaning at the dentist, you know? So if you are concerned that your calculus bridge is super severe, the sooner the better that you get to the dentist because it's only going to get worse over time. In all, the intention of this video was to not make you feel stressed out. It was only to educate you so you know that the calculus bridge, the tartar holding teeth in place is not something you should rely on to keep your teeth in place forever because one day it won't hold them in anymore. So it's much better to get a professional dental cleaning now to save the teeth you have and to improve your health in the long run because tartar and gum disease is not just dental disease. It's also associated with heart disease, diabetes, kidney disease, Alzheimer's, and a bunch of other conditions. So reduce your risk of all that stuff by getting the tartar removed now. Best case scenario is that you get your teeth cleaning and you're all good. Your gums heal up afterwards and now you're back to getting regular routine cleanings. Worst case scenario is that the dentist or periodontist tells you that there's a chance a couple of your teeth will be loose after the cleaning and if so, they will tell you about tooth replacement options on how to fill those spots if they do end up being loose enough to fall out. I will link my tooth replacement option video, my deep cleaning videos, my dental anxiety video, and my how to get affordable dental care video in case you want to learn more about any of those topics. And don't forget that you won't be surprised. They will tell you beforehand if there's a chance your teeth will be loose and they will walk you through steps on what to do to treat it. And in the future, they will also help you prevent it from ever happening again. And prevention starts with proper brushing and flossing and or interdental brushing, water flossing, etc., at home to reduce the amount of plaque that sticks on your teeth. In addition, routine dental cleanings should be scheduled for proper removal of calculus before it would ever grow too big and turn into a calculus bridge. And you will never have to worry about this situation if you prevent it. So if you're interested in creating the perfect dental routine to prevent major dental issues such as gum disease and loose teeth, as well as costly dental visits such as deep cleanings and tooth replacement procedures such as bridges and implants to avoid all of that, make sure to click the link in the description or in the pinned comment below to sign up for my free oral care guide and join thousands of people who have already discovered all the essentials for an effective oral hygiene routine. This guide is an action plan for preventing and maintaining a happier and healthier smile and I hope this video helped you. Please like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications if it did. And if you want even more Teeth Talk, you can visit my website teethtalkgirl.com and hang out with me on Instagram at teethtalkgirl. Peace, love, and teeth.